Our team at Purdue University is competing in IARC Mission 7. This mission requires that we develop a fully autonomous aerial robot capable of controlling 10 small autonomous ground robots via touch to move them over one side of a square arena. To perform well, our robot must be capable of making decisions about which robot to touch at any given time within a 10 minute time period. This is a hard problem to solve because there is no way to predict the ground robot's trajectory past a certain distance due to randomness added to its trajectory every 5 seconds. We solve this problem by using a machine learning algorithm called NEAT. NEAT stands for Neuroevolution of Augmenting Topologies. This algorithm effectively uses evolution to create an ideal neural network for solving our problem. NEAT starts with an initial population of randomly generated neural networks and tests each of them using a fitness function. After testing hundreds or thousands of neural networks, NEAT picks the top 20% of neural networks by fitness and breeds them. This process is essentially survival of the fittest, and after hundreds of times, it finally produces a highly evolved neural network capable of completing our problem effectively. Over one and a half months, our team developed a basic simulation of IARC Mission 7, and we used the simulation as a judge for how well a neural network had performed. We tried many different combinations of fitness functions and implementations of neural networks. The process of training sometimes took up to three days and tested over one million neural networks with the simulation. This is an 849 generation evolution, which took about one and a half days to complete, but produced our best neural network. You're seeing the best neural network of each generation being tested. Here is the performance of this neural network's first generation. Remember, this generation is randomly spawned with completely random structure and weights. Through that random generation, it performed as expected through probability because it averages about 2-3 to three ground robots over the green line of the arena. This is the 849th generation's performance. As you can see, the performance has drastically improved through neuroevolution, and now our average is about 7 ground robots over the line. This neural network's performance is very good because in order to complete mission 7, we need to move 7 or more ground robots over the line. This is the overall performance of the 849 generation evolution. As you can see, the trend in performance increase is logarithmic. This performance shows that NEAT is a good choice for this type of problem, if implemented correctly.